What is up everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Bandai Namco Grand Ship Collection from One Piece and this is Monkey D. Luffy's Going Merry. So we'll take a closer look at that packaging at first. You can see the price tag there which I didn't bother to remove. <laughs> On the side here we have a few different images of the model kit. This one has been painted. The actual model kit doesn't look near as good as this. But if you are a customizer and good at paint model kits then you guys won't have any problems at all. Personally. I don't really do a lot of model kits that need to be painted. You don't need to paint it, but to get it to look this good, you definitely need to paint it. And uh, I did a little bit of customization, but nowhere near uh, this level. So uh, on this side, we just have Going Merry, which is this. This is actually a pretty big box. <laughs> and on the side here, now this is more of what the actual model is going to look like. Nothing on the back or anything like that. And uh, yeah, that pretty much wraps up the packaging. So there's two different options. You can actually have it uh, in the water, which is kind of cool. That's how I'm going to display mine. And then the other side of it is we have this little base here. And you can kind of port that onto the top, like we see here. Or you can do a combination of both, having the uh, water, almost like a water line here, and then kind of having the little base on the bottom, which in my opinion doesn't look as good. But not going to waste any more time looking at boxes. Give you guys a quick look at the instructions if that's your thing. <laughs> so we have a few images of the uh, Going Merry. All the contents that's in the box here. And then we have these pretty cool instructions. Some of them have numbers. Others have symbols. Especially for the stickers they have symbols. Which I found uh, a little bit more difficult to find, pick out, understand. Whatever the case may be. I mean it is in Japanese after all. And then we've got some black and white on the back here. I know it's upside down, but pretty straightforward regardless. Yeah, that's it. That's the instructions. And let's get down to the actual model. Now, keep in mind, guys, uh, I am an amateur. <laughs> I am fairly new at building models. Uh, I did do a bit of customization on this one. Uh, this was originally a shiny, like almost like a metallic sticker like we see on the back here. And there's lots of little bumps and details into the sculpt, into the, the mold, I should say, not sculpt. The stickers just look horrible, to be completely honest. I, I don't like it, I didn't like it at all. You can see all the little bumps kind of raised true. So I peeled that off, I went to the dollar store and just got some cheap uh, enamel paint. And it wasn't the best paint. It covers okay, from a distance it looks okay. But it's really thick, I did water it down a little bit, but. Yeah, it just didn't stick that well. And then I just got my Gundam uh, marker and just kind of panel lined it. And then I got some uh, a silver paint pen and just kind of dabbed a little bit of silver on there. So this is kind of messy and needs to be cleaned up uh, quite a bit. But like I previously mentioned, we got the little sheep on the front there, goat, whatever it is. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. So I did a panel lining on the mouth there just to make that stick out a little bit. And I didn't do the ears or anything like that. And down to the bottom, this is all stickers. This is actually white plastic. And then there's stickers that go around here. But what I did, I didn't really like uh, the stickers. So there's a mixture of stickers and white paint. And like I previously mentioned, it's dollar store paint. I should have uh, spent a little bit extra money and bought better paint from a distance. And I think if it's on your shelf mixed in with some other things, some one piece figures or so, uh, it'll look a lot better. So then we get down to the top. I did panel line all this here. Uh, all the planks and stuff, which took a bit of time. <laughs> and we got some doors, window stickers. And another thing that I did with this one, I actually painted the top part white. So if you put the sticker on, this is going to look like a beige plastic. It just didn't look right. So I, I got a little bit of white paint and I just kind of painted that over there as well, just to make it look like one solid piece. Yeah, I mean, there's so much more you can do. You can paint the cannons black, especially this front cannon here. You can paint that black on you know, gun middle, whatever you want to do with it. There is a few things I would like to do with this one. I probably, I'm probably going to panel line this a bit or paint it uh, just to bring up the details in that a little bit. And then all the lines on top here, this can be panel line too, just to break up the white, give it a little bit more detail. Same with this here too. And uh, yeah, man, it's cool. We got some trees on top there. The stickers go on pretty decent, I got to be honest. And another thing that I recommend doing too, obviously the flags on top. You have one sticker on this side, one sticker on this side. But you see all this here, it's the uh, tan or beige plastic. So kind of takes away from the overall appearance as well. 
So that's something that I'm definitely going to do. So, yeah, that's pretty much a closer look, uh, review. Overall, this one actually fit together nicely. And I think it looked pretty cool, man. Uh, I wish it was a little bit bigger. But at the same time, for 20 bucks or 30 bucks, whatever it is, Canadian, uh, it's not that bad of a deal, man. It uh, took me about an hour, a little over an hour to build this one. Uh, I could have did it a lot quicker if I really, really wanted to. If you want to take the time to uh, uh, paint and do all the detail work on this one, I'm sure you guys can do a lot better job than what I did. But that being said, I still think it looks pretty cool. Let me know in the comments below how I did. <laughs> for the first time doing one of these, I usually do the figure rise kits, uh, the Dragon Ball figure rise kits, and I have done a few Star Wars model kits as well. So this is the two options. So this is the little base we were talking about earlier, and you can kind of port this in here and lay it on top, and you can display it this way. Or you can take this off. This fits in here uh, perfectly, actually, and you can see a little spot there for the rudder, and that kind of ports right in and actually stays into place quite nicely but yeah I, I think that looks cool because it actually looks like the boat is emerged in water and we can see the waves and everything going up around the boat so I think if you had a few of these and you had a nice display definitely uh, looks a lot better this way or would you rather have this little thing and have the full ship kind of displayed so this is how I'm going to display mine let's get it up on the old been around the 9,000 here. Oh, I also forgot to mention as well, there's a little cannon that you put together <laughs> that goes here. There is a little anchor as well. And on the side of the box or back of the box, it kind of goes here, clips in, place, and yeah, that's pretty much it. If I had to rate this one out of 10, which I normally do on my reviews, I'm going to give it a solid 7 out of 10. Like I said, uh, a lot more work goes into these as opposed to the figure eyes kits. I mean, these figure eyes kits from Bandai, uh, everything's painted. You don't need to paint these. Uh, it takes a bit more effort to make this one look good as opposed to the figure eyes model kits. Uh, you're just basically assembling a figure that's already been painted and all that stuff. So uh, skill level to this one is a little bit higher. That being said, though, you can still build it the way it is, and I'm sure it'll be uh, just fine. So as always, my friends, let me know in the comments below what do you think of this model kit. Leave your opinions in the comments below. I do have two more of these. I have the Oral Jackson and I have uh, Thousand Sunny, I think it is. So I'll definitely be doing more. If there's one that you recommend, let me know in the comments below as well. But that's going to wrap it up, guys. I want to thank you guys for taking time out of your day to watch our review. If you like our review, hit that like button. That subscribe button is there as well if you guys want to subscribe to the channel. As always, my friends, we hope you enjoyed this review, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Keep collecting, stay safe, go buy some toys.